Hi, I'm Ricky Beadle Blair. I'm the writer, director, composer of Summer in London. It, it's kind of coming out like a kind of Midsummer Night's Dream, crisscrossing romance amongst a group of young homeless people who are kind of going, well, it's just all a laugh but things start to get harder and darker as things go along. It's basically uh, a bit of a classic kind of coming of age story. There's four friends that are really, really close that live together in London, mm -hmm. but they're actually homeless, aren't they? Yeah. So there's four lads who are living on their luck, yeah. who all attempt four dates yes. with Summer. It's basically a bit of a fight to see who can who can win the girl. Yeah. There's a lot of twists and turns on yes. the way. Um, yeah, things aren't quite as they seem. It's a rom com. <laughs> it's a yeah. it's a love story, and it's the you know it's the theatre equivalent of a date movie. Yeah. So we got round the table today with all the cast, and it was really nice actually. We just read the whole thing. Um, out as together. Much as there is, out so, yeah, yeah. yeah we're having a read through. We're getting to meet the um, the team here at Theatre Royal. Four days, four days. Don't say Mama never hooked you up. And the first one's today. Today? But my hair needs two days to prepare. I mean, I had a read of it last night before we came in. And it's so much more refreshing to then hear everyone do it as a group. Absolutely. You can probably see the characters. You see the different voices out. coming to yeah. the story and it's starting to build a bit of momentum now. Yeah. But it's starting to become very clear sort of who's who and what's happening. Mm. Summer, have you ever been in love? Don't, don't answer that. I know I'm being weird, I'm just, this would be such a good story to tell our grandkids. Well, I always write my scripts for a cast. So I cast first, then I start talking to them and then I start constructing a story around them. I met lots of really amazing people, but then I wanted to find a team that was contrasting, but complementary, so that I could show a range of Humanity. I think it's really clever that he's doing this um, play with all trans characters, but um, it's not about being trans, it's about just being an everyday person, really. Turn up, take on a date, the worst date in the history of dates, step on her feet, call her the wrong name, fart, tell racist jokes, you can crash the car and let me rescue You're her. You're out of your mind. I need a really intelligent actors who can involve themselves in the discussion, give intelligent performances, but also have a discussion with me as I evolve it. I love what he wrote something like, it's really a social issue that's going on, what's happening in our world, yeah. only here in UK, but what's really affecting us in a society. On the surface, it's quite a light-hearted comedy, but actually when you go a little bit further into it, it's, there's a lot of themes going on. I wanted something that cuts deep and you have to think a lot and, and examine yourself a lot, but even if you're not in the mood for that, you can just really enjoy the comedy of it the romance of it, the visuals of it. I think this is brand new. I don't think you've seen anything like this in the theatres and I think it's going to be it's going to be quite different, isn't it? So anybody who's looking for something that's a really good evening out, but that there's a lot to discuss afterwards, this is the one. Mm -hmm.